What's up, caps and hats? Welcome to my first tutorial, which I'm gonna be doing now, and I'm gonna be doing this awesome looking Minecraft bag in Cinema 4D and Photoshop. It's free to the three dimensional. It's easy to do, and I think we're ready to start. Yep. First things first. I wanna thank this human being called Chalo from Minecraft forums who made these textures you see and just uh, the link will be in the description below just go here and copy all these uh, textures or pictures to your desktop and open them in Photoshop like I did here now what you're gonna do is to select your selection tool and select every piece at a time tail and copy it copy it outside make a and then save it just as this one piece do that by copying that and make a new like this and dimensions are not not important just now copy it with control C paste it in here Con oh, is quick. then make select all this copy now make a new and the dimensions of this what you copied will be right here so click OK and just save it oops we have a tail and now I'll do this by every piece, I mean this, 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 and it will take a time, but what you, when you're finished, you will be satisfied. Now when you have that done, just uh, sort them in portals like head, legs, and tail, you see I did this. And the reason for these white spots on this texture is there will be legs for instance and there there will be the head now when you have all these this, this, this textures the sword and just go in cinema and what you're gonna do now is for every that pixel no it's not a pixel it's a large pixel you wanna make the dimensions of this head like you see here, there that have hit the size uh, for every large pixel it's going to be 20 centimeters. So just make a new file, and if you if we if we take the first the first uh, the first the textures for the head and the front head. You see there one two three four five six seven eight right one two three four five six seven eight eight by eight and eight I think it's yes now make a new cube and just the dimensions will be eight by eight guess eight by twenty is one hundred and sixty just make one while well, 160 and this is a pretty, pretty large cube so what you're gonna do now is the front you see it's 80 by 80 I took uh, 10 but we're gonna take 20 so we have right here oh maybe we'll take 10 centimeters for every large pixel so make it size 80 80 and 80 what you're gonna do is uh, hit C on your keyboard that will make this cube editable and click this icon in Cinema 4D it's an orange, orange square and no other click it so you can now just add texture to all these sides so we can have like six textures I mean materials in that one cube so make a new material file new material 
double click on it, go to the texture, load image, and just select one from your folder. I will select head front. Yes, click no. You want to always click no. And when you get that done, hit the X and just select this tool. So you can no, this. you can select the sides. No, select this side and just drag this over. And if I render this out, you see the texture is now done. Now repeat the process for other parts. I have the, the all materials just uh, load in, so I'll take a second to load uh, all the materials, library, material preview, pigay, uh, and there's all the materials. Now just proceed now. Yes, we got the head done for all the textures or, or materials or whatever. And now we're gonna start adding a uh, body. So again, make a new cube, open your body textures, and just count the pixels. Is that easy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and and what? and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so got that done just make the size 16 uh, 10 I said 10 and uh, what? 80 no, we must, we must make it here so 16 uh, 10 and 80 oh too much, too much 80 yes now just rotate this body by 90 degrees and also 19 degrees this way and connect it to the white white marks on the head then drop it down and yep repeat the process for the textures for the body And yep, we have the body of this pig. Now we're gonna make legs. If you, if, and if you look down, you see that these legs are not equal to the back legs. And yes, in fact, they are, but back legs stick out here for like, I don't know, one pixel. Yes, so. What you're gonna do is again make a new cube, count pixels, go to the legs, um, these textures, and one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, and four. Yes, four, four, six. Size four, four, six. That's correct. No, six. No, six. Yes, that's correct, I think. Yes. Now just position these cubes 
here and put it back. It's good. And yes, you can. I'm not going to be now exactly as uh, as like by one millimeter just a uh, raw raw function so you can do it now just copy this cube uh, three more times and uh, do this by control C and control V one two three and just position the legs like that and that and where like that yes and you'll see now the legs stick out and if you take a look at the pig in minecraft you'll also see that the legs stick out now again repeat the process for all the legs I did this uh, before and here's the final result yep something is wrong yes the textures mess around I know what but nevertheless here's the finished big screenshot I mean screenshot screen 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 what a picture a regular picture here it is Hope you will enjoy this tutorial. I never seen a big min Minecraft big tutorial on YouTube, so please subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'm in the future. I'm gonna be doing some more mobs for Minecraft in Cinema 4D and Photoshop. And the next episode will be how to make the the grass and the sand and all that stuff in Cinema 4D so you can animate and make an animation like Minecraft. See you later.